Those little femininity tips will help you stand out. Hello ladies, thanks for tuning in. Before we start, please like and subscribe and don't forget that you can watch my free webinar where I teach you how to go from single to committed in very little time by joining my free newsletter. Okay, today I want to talk about those little tips that help you be more feminine and that make you stand out. So let's go. So you need to overdress when you aren't sure about how you should dress. This is important because you need to understand how men fall in love. This is the eye. Okay, this is the eye. They first need to like what they see. So, love. Oh, I'm gonna change the pen. They love, love what they see. You see? Here, they love what they see. They are interested in what you say, but they need to love what they see first. And this is something important because I know that many women who are who believe in 50-50 relationships or who think that us high-value women, we shouldn't ask for a provider. When we say, yeah, but leveling up costs us money and looking good is expensive, like we have to do our hair, they will say, yeah, but no one asks you to do all of that. But the thing is, if we want commitment and we want commitment with a high quality man, we need to do that. We can't show up like hobos, okay? So yeah, you need to invest in your looks. If it's expensive, you make a budget for it. I don't care, but if you want that high caliber man to fall for you, he needs to love what he sees first. So this is the heart, okay? So with the heart, you need to appreciate what they do for you. When you appreciate what they do for you it's not just a thanks but you you know you go out of your way to make them feel like okay you are special you did this for me i appreciate what you do for me you men don't even say thank you when a man picks up the check during the date don't be like that okay i want you to go out of your way to make him feel like okay whatever you do is amazing and and yeah he will like you more and more and lastly they fall in love for your brain okay okay i don't know how to draw a brain it looks like a cloud okay maybe like this okay they fall in love for your brain so this is where you know you are smart you have an amazing personality you are playful and all of that this is how they're gonna fall in love but first is this and us women is the opposite we first fall for their brain when he's intelligent we become attracted because us women we are attracted by the mind first and then is the heart he does something for us okay when he does things for us he's very cute he's very thoughtful we start to like him more and more and lastly when all of that is there we start to like what we see and we find him extremely attractive and becomes the most handsome man in the world and you you know this like because think about those friends who show you picture of a man that you don't really find attractive but they're like oh but he's so amazing i like him so much it's because he has done all of that for them already this is why they are attracted this is why they are turned on but you didn't have that emotional connection with the guy. This is why you can't understand why your friend is so in love with that guy. Because for you, it's average. You see, women fall with the emotion. I've heard men say, yeah, my girlfriend is a five, but personality-wise, she's amazing. And women, when they find the man amazing as a person, they will find him handsome as well. So you see, we are extremely different. And by the way, I don't want you to date a man who thinks that you are a five. I want him to think that you have an amazing personality and also that you are wonderful. Okay? Don't settle for any of that. I want you to stop hiding who you are and I want you to, to show him the amazing woman that you are. Many women are amazing and actually I talk about it in my course, How to Get Him to Commit. So yeah, many women are amazing but they don't actually realize that they're amazing. So yeah, in my course, I help them realize that they're amazing. You need to, to work on that and show how amazing you are because this is how he's gonna fall for you. When he meets you, he's not thinking that, okay, she's amazing, I want to date her, I want to wife her. No, he's thinking, oh, she's attractive, I want to have sex with her, that's all. It's only when he meets you and he knows you and you're a challenge and you also have, you know, an amazing personality that he falls for you, okay? You also need to educate yourself on the masculine psychology. The thing that's happening is that right now you focus too much on just liking him instead of focusing on understanding him. And this is important and this is a tip that actually I got from finance. So you might know Ryan Buffett is extremely popular and famous. So he's a big investor, the biggest in the world, I believe. And he said, don't invest in something that you don't understand. And 
and this is excellent and this piece of advice is applicable to dating as well do not invest in men you don't understand so this is why you need to work on that you need to work on educating yourself on the masculine psychology because once you will understand them this is how it's going to be easier for you to stop being a pick me and also to become more magnetic because it makes you more attractive actually to understand them and many people talk about you know being just who you are and all of that but i disagree with that it's not a great advice because since you want a high caliber man you need to become the woman those men want okay so by educating yourself on the masculine psychology you will become a high value woman that high value men want so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye